Hello， 大家好，品牌专访终于嚟到第二集啦。今次嘅访问可以话系令到我非常激动啊，因为今日请嚟嘅嘉宾咧就系、是、我其中一个非常中意嘅耳机品牌 Noble Audio 嘅负责人 Dr. John 啊。希望今次嘅访问可以令大家对 Noble Audio 有更加深入嘅了解啦。Hello， 多特 j 你好。其實我哋都知 n o v o Audio 之前咧都推出咗好多震撼市場嘅耳機作品，好似 Can 同埋 Sutan 呢兩對耳機都令人非常之印象深刻嘅。咁其實喺你創作嘅時候，有冇話諗到品牌係應該會向邊一個方向發展嘅咧 The price scales of Noble's products have been going up and up, and uh, we we do have other price points where those products were starting to get of age, if you could say, or as we would say, a longer tooth. So what we did was we just looked at our product line and we revisited those price points and we made uh, products that would fit within those price points, and basically, essentially compete. So that was the reasoning behind the launch of the、uh, the newer products that we just launched. 嗯，咁喺过去咁多嘅作品当中，你有冇话觉得边一对系最成功嘅嗰一个作品咧？啊、uh, ，I believe it would be the Sultan.、Um, you know, looking at our our records as far as sales and things of that nature, the, definitely the Sultan has 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 been our our star product. Why is it? Well. Obviously, it sounds good, but、uh, part two is we we put a lot into the design of the product、um, in 2018. When we launched the Genghis Khan,、uh, I can't remember if that was Hong Kong we launched it. I believe it was Hong Kong or Taiwan. Either way, I landed in and、uh, in Bangkok, jumped on another plane. And flew out to meet with our CNC team, and we began the design of the Sultan. I think that might have been a two-year endeavor. We launched it.、Uh, initial launch was great. Then we came out with a, a, a different version,、uh, interiorly、uh, had silver wiring, along with、uh, a Damascus faceplate. The Damascus faceplate was.、Uh, Design and developed by Chris Plouffe Designs. We also put a special cable on that as well. So that、uh, really ramped up the the sales of the、uh, Sultan as time went on. A dynamic driver、uh, with the magnet being that big. Usually, like a 10 millimeter might have like a five or six millimeter、uh, magnet. So this was quite an interesting design for me. Maybe 10 or more years ago, I had built a a driver commercially before, and so when the chance came to to revisit our product line and build.、Uh, Products at different price points.、Uh, the first A driver I did was more of a warm type sound.、Uh, this is more of a—I don't want to call it clinical, but it's a—it's a more cleaner type sound. The Jade, the Tux Five is more of a warm、uh, sound, and, and I,、uh, or you could say more of a, a tune for a bass head type response. Me personally, I like a, a cleaner type sound. The Jade gave me an opportunity to go to that price point and develop a product that is um, uh, more of an acoustic type product. 
Uh, still has a great bass response, don't get me wrong, but it, it, it doesn't bleed in to the mids or anything of that nature. So it's, uh, I like it. I think it's a good buy for the money. When you're, when you're building these products, you have to come up with a name. And uh, I just looked at my daughter and there, there's the name right there, Kubla Khan. Kubla Khan was actually a name that I had uh, liked long before we even got involved with this. So I pretty much knew that there would be a, a, a Genghis Khan part two, if you will. And what would we name it? And it was going to be Kubla Khan. Anyhow, we, we wanted to think of ways we could make it different from the Genghis. So well known that the, the bone oscillator type drivers are, are in demand. And so we went that direction and uh, put some more bass into the product. As far as which is better, uh, Genghis versus Kubla Khan, it's really up to the, the, the user. Uh, me personally, I really like uh, the, the response of the Genghis product. Uh, it's a very clean type sound, but when the bass kicks in, it's, it's, it's a very surprising product. Now that we're starting to engage with Sanyin as well, so that was new, new for us. Uh, the utilization of a bone driver, that was new for us. Uh, also, uh, we're relying hev more heavily on uh, resin printing. Uh, in other words, the shells are, are printed this time rather than a, the old style boring. Now, the market is growing up and growing up with the bone drivers. What are you thinking about the market in the future? What are you thinking about? fairly obvious that the uh, Bluetooth products, the TWSs, are uh, in high demand. And that's uh, probably where this, this is going to head. Meanwhile, I think cable products are, are uh, the, the higher echelon pricing type products will be here as well. And that, that's probably going to continue to uh, move forward as far as you know, better and better uh, wired cable products as well. 都見到Noble Audio 近年都很積極地嘗試用不同的物料去做耳機外殼。其實Dr.John有沒有發現到什麼特別有趣的物料可以跟大家分享一下呢? Honestly, I'm going to decline to answer that question uh, due to the fact that we try to be the pioneers of uh, new materials. And if I answer that question now, it wouldn't be a surprise if uh, one of our com competitors starts using our material as quickly as possible. Can we be able to tell us about what Noble Audio is doing or what is going on? I'm sure we're going to keep to this uh, formula we've been using, which is basically building better and better, but yet review our product line. Uh, if there's anything that's getting old, uh, we should replace it and at the meantime we'll still continue to focus on TWS products and, and building uh, more improved, greater and better type products as technology increases. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have any questions or want to go to the next one, please leave a comment below and like our video and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Bye!